All right, my friends, welcome back to Nerd Chic YouTube channel. Don't forget, before we even get started, subscribe to this channel. We have a lot of good stuff, and we'd love to have you keep coming back. Okay, today I'm going to go through a boatload of different tablets. And so, if you're out there and you're thinking about getting a tablet, the one thing that I've got going for me is I've had a lot of tablets. I've had to use them for different things, whether it's for work or whatever. Um, I've had them for my kids. And so I'm going to show you some of what I like the most and the ins and outs of them. And so anyways, I'm going to start with an iPad mini. So Apple's iPad mini is a really great tablet. I'm going to get it started up real quick and get it turned on, get in here and put my code in. And then I'm in here and, and really it's a fast tablet. These little guys are really workhorses. They play games real well. I like them a lot. And just everything I've done with them, I've been very happy with. So you can see they go from one thing to another. I don't have it on my Wi-Fi right now. I just wipe this one. But they'll open and close apps fairly well. And they're fairly quick. And for what they do, they're great. It's kind of like having a large size phone. And I like getting like a Bluetooth keyboard and use it with it. I've had them where I've set them like this. I like how they go sideways. Um, gaming wise, they're fairly decent. Um, some of the games, well, the games are made for iOS native. They're awesome. For anything else, they may be a little laggy or slow. They're not like a pro, but definitely a solid tablet. Now, here's the thing about your Apple tablets, even this mini. This is an investment. It's going to cost you a good bit to get something like this. So if you're getting that, you want, you're going to be putting in a, a, a chunk of change. So that brings me to a really cheap tablet. Now this is a little Android tablet. This is the VUCA Times tablet. I've done a review on a box open or whatever. You see, I've got it fairly dirty and um, I've had my run around with it. I just recharged it and I just hit the power button to turn it on. Here's the problem you're gonna find with this tablet. It works great for about a month and then it starts doing stuff like this. It's super slow. And to be honest, anything you get with the Android Go edition, anything that's going to be a tablet under like 100 bucks, it's going to be slow. And so it's opening up. It has that A50 chip. I'm going to let it do its thing. You're going to see how slowly it takes to get to where it needs to go to get started. Which brings me to one of my favorite tablets of all time. This one's dirty because my kids are using it. And I've set up with the kids version. But of course, the Kindle Fire tablets are incredible. Here's one of these guys like this. This is, of course, um, a big one. I love it. It's great, but for me, the smaller ones are better. And this guy right here, super fast. These are HD versions. They're super fast. They do really great with, um, with anything they run. You can get into stuff fairly quickly. I mean, just notice. There's the VUCA Times, and here is this Kindle. And this thing finally got to the place where you can even unlock it. Let me unlock it. Because I want to show you while we're sitting here why you really don't want this, this tablet. So here we go. It's supposed to be open at any point here. I just put in my number. It's just not going. It says wrong pin, but it's broken. This thing's already ready to play a game. See? So I'm already playing a game on it. Let's go ahead and get out of here. It's, I'm going to change up. Let me open. Let's see. Let's just open one of his little Lego games or whatever. While it's opening, I'm still trying to get into this tablet. Okay, I'm gonna try to put in the pin again. And the pin worked, it's opening. This one is okay. That one doesn't work. Let's open a different game, let's try this one. You can see this thing is just rocking. So the Kindle Fires, these guys, this is just the bigger version, they rock these. Okay, so it doesn't get the internet out here. It's not on the internet, I just realized. Let's try book and see if that works. Oh, that's the very hungry caterpillar again. So look, I mean, that's just, boom, already. This thing just now got to a black screen. I don't even know what that's about. It still hasn't even loaded the background. While that's going, and you can see the Kindle Fire, which has all the parental controls and that kind of stuff that's awesome, I want to show you my favorite current tablet that is really inexpensive and just plain rocks. I mean, this guy rocks. This is my Lenovo. My Lenovo is incredible. This joker is awesome. I've already done a review on it, but just side by side, this guy, you notice it's still not loaded that background. I'm taking it out of the picture because it just ticks me off to watch it. Let's open up my Lenovo and let's let it go into Reddit and do its thing. I use it for everything, comiXology, Reddit, whatever. Love it. 
Okay, so I'm, there's Reddit. It's already loaded. Boom. Let's do Comixology. I love this because I've already added a massive amount of storage on this bad boy through my card. So I've got 256 gigs. It runs very fast. It's actually faster than the Kindle is. And I've been using it. It's much more open since it has Android. And I love it. So boom, there we go. Here's some of my crazy comics. And this guy is awesome. Okay, so I'm taking this off. Kindle Fire's good. But again, slower than the Lenovo. Lenovo's rocking. The, the, the Kindle Fire's faster than, of course, the, the Apple or the Mac. Yeah, the Apple iPad Mini. Good law. I got it. It's a tongue twister. So let's move on to another Lenovo. You guys have seen me do and set up the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex. I love this guy because here we have... Let me go ahead and close this off. My tablet right here. I love this guy. You guys, I just love it, love it, love it. I use it, for, and let me tell you what I use it for. I use it to check in on stuff, to look at accounts. I use it for YouTube. I use it for um, primarily consuming content, comiXology, Ancestry stuff. I like Ancestry.com. I use it for um, reading on Kindle, whatever. This thing is just the bomb.com for that. That's the Lenovo. This guy right here, this Lenovo Chromebook, idea pad flex is awesome because of course you get the great laptop experience which you've seen but also you just you fold it right around and you've got a tablet and i gotta tell you guys i've been utilizing this tablet lately and i'll put the code in oops codes in i've been utilizing it as a tablet lately Holy mackerel. This guy is awesome. Look at that thing go. Look, boom, boom, boom. YouTube's going up. I love it. I'm so shocked at how fast it is. This thing rocks my other Lenovo. So you want to talk about speed? This guy rocks it. The other thing this thing can do, it allows me to do some graphic stuff. So even though it's not graphics intensive because it's a Chromebook, you guys, I'm using it as a tablet, and I can do artwork on here. I can do YouTube. I literally can get into things and get around things very quickly. It really works well as a tablet. I'm telling you, this guy is a shocker. It really surprises me how much I really like this. So I'm going to open Reddit. Look at how fast it opens something. Of course, let's get the orientation right. So you can just see the difference. Okay, here we go. You can see the difference. Look at that. I haven't logged in. I didn't realize. But look how good that looks. Really, really good stuff. You can sign in with Google. I don't want to do that, but let me get out of there. You see that, guys? Incredible. Love it. Faster than the Lenovo tab, but this guy's great for reading books, comics, entertainment, whatever. This guy right here allows me to do some graphic design, work on all my stuff. I love it. And, of course, flips back for the whole laptop experience if I need it. This is my favorite Chromebook I've ever had. I highly recommend the Chromebook, the Lenovo Chromebook IdeaPad. Now, let me talk about the most powerful. Oh, haha. <laughs> look, guys. This one just decided to put the background and the icons on there. How about that? And they're not all working. Oh, my lands. It just popped up. That's how slow it is. All right, I'm going to move it out of the way. The VUCA Times is gone. Don't buy that. You don't need it. All right, now let's talk about the tablet that really is hardcore awesome. And I've got a case around mine. My case is also this. It's a, um, you can see it's a keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in and get you guys in there so you can see it. Let's see here. All right, this is my favorite. My favorite hardcore beast I, a tablet is my iPad Pro. The newest iPad Pros are just super fast. I love how you've got the dock area over here. I haven't even utilized it like my phone. Of course, it does all the apps from the um, iOS store. Super fast. As far as holding it, using it like my Lenovo, I wouldn't do it because this guy right here is so much lighter. This is my consuming for content one. This one is my laptop replacement. I actually use this for almost everything out there. Everything from movies um, videos I'm doing for YouTube even, I will put them together here in iMovie and put them up into YouTube, um, graphics, video, whatever. I do it here. For anything I need, more of a Chromebook experience, I can do it here. You know, 
as well as I'll use this tablet for kind of the drawing or whatever. But if you want to, with the iPad Pro, you can also use the Apple Pencil and it's got a great interface. So this is also good for the graphic designs. As far as these kinds of things go, guys, the best, most high-end function that you can get in a tablet is an iPad Pro. It's heavy and you're gonna pay for it in weight and money. The next one for power is gonna be your idea pad flex it's much cheaper than this guy right here um, and it has some incredible ability to do stuff graphic wise very fast i love how fast it is for entertainment consumption look at the m8 with lenovo it's much better than the um, ipad mini believe it or not so i like it better than the ipad mini do not get a vuca times or anything like it for 50 bucks because if you're doing that you should get a kindle fire hd these guys are gold and they're inexpensive so what would I do if I were you? I probably would, if I want a small form tablet, I would either get the Kindle Fire HD. If I want to get something for kids, definitely this one, Kindle Fire HD. If I want something for me, for my own consumption of entertainment, it's going to be the Lenovo M8. If I need something that's going to be a workhorse or a beast, it's going to be my iPad Pro because it's a laptop replacement. I carry that thing and use it just like a laptop anywhere I go. And then lastly, if you want to do something that will allow you to even do use Canva and graphic design online, that kind of stuff. I love this Lenovo. If you can't get away from an actual laptop, this Chromebook is the beast. Plus, it's metal and it's hardcore. All right, that's it. That's my review of all my tablets. I'd love to hear what your th thoughts are. What's your favorite tablet? And what do you encourage people to get? And then, of course, subscribe to this channel. Go to the Ask the Nerd website for more. AskTheNerd.net And then also, we've got... All kinds of other stuff out right now. So subscribe, follow us, and uh, give us some love, you guys. Take care. Have a good one. Thanks for tuning in to Nerd Cheek.